Okay, this is a meeting of the Camp Quantity Commission on Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. The time is 5.40 p.m. Um, all in attendance, uh, Frank Melisi. Melissa Scartese. Sheila Moss. And then we have uh, Dory and Jen as well. Um, okay, so the first order of business is approval of meeting minutes from April 24th, 2023. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do I got a second? Second. All those in favor? I'm assuming I am. Aye. Great. Awesome. Aye. Thanks. <laughs> Um, second request to waive fee for Hanson Public Library Foundation Trivia Night, July 19, 2023. They did this last year, right, Dory? They did, okay. yes. It's on a Wednesday. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, uh, I will entertain a motion to waive the fee for the Hanson Public Library Foundation Trivia Night on July 19, 2023. Motion to waive the fee for July 19th to the Hanson Public Library Trivia Night. Okay, great. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion on that? No? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. 3 0. Thank you. Ryan Morgan Independence Academy, use of the camp as a summer program, uh, tentative. So um, I went to a. Um, I went to a Whitman Hanson Regional School District meeting, and Mr. Um, Selectman Kane from Whitman actually approached me. He said that he works. Um, he works for the Independence Academy, and they would really like to use the space. Um, you know the the, the camp to um, do some day activities and stuff like that. Dory, do you have any other information? No, I emailed him a couple times and I gave him a phone call a couple of times, but I have never heard back from him. Okay. So. Okay. Um, okay. I don't is it the camp grounds or he wants to use buildings? Is it just doing we know? Oh, we don't know. I, I think it's camp grounds, but I'm not really sure. But I I called him, you know, several times. I don't know. He looks like those doors. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, Fire, okay. grilled food, basically yeah. engage in camp like activity and game for a few hours, and the students have loved it. So, um, yeah, it's probably outdoors. They might use, like, I would imagine they probably use, like, the pavilion if it got rainy or something. Right. Like would they need a bathhouse, though? Yeah. Like, for bathrooms probably. or something? Probably. Um, the bathrooms are usually open during the day, aren't they? The down the beach would be. But the ones up here are locked during the day? Unless we have campers. Yeah. Unless we have campers, okay. But you know, we'd have them open, but um, I, I invited him to the meeting and called an email, but I didn't hear back, so. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, does anybody have any thoughts on this? Wait until we get more info. Yeah, you know. Okay. Wait until we get. Okay, so we'll we'll table we'll table that until we get more info. Uh -huh. um, okay. Request from Hanson Public Library to waive fee for Martha Hall Kelly, author, September twenty first, twenty twenty three, six thirty p.m. to eight p.m. Um, okay. I will entertain them. Uh, actually, Dory, do you have any? Yeah. This is on a Thursday, and there's no food. There's no bar. There's nothing like that. And the library called and wanted to know if. Um, you would waive the fees and we're kind of co-sponsor this author, Camp Kiwani, and the Hanson Public Library are, um, you know, putting a, a, a thing together for Mata Hall Kelly author. Okay, so they want, they don't want us to pay anything, they just want us to waive the fee and they'll cover the cost of the... They'll cover any cost okay. that comes up associated with it. Okay. Yep. So they're just using the... Yes, yeah. yep. Okay. Um, okay. Just from 6.30 to 8.00. I'll entertain a motion to waive the fee for the Hanson Public Library for the Martha Hall Kelly um, author um, event on September 21st, 2023 from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Motion to waive the fee for the Martha Hall Kelly author event. Okay, do I have a second? Library. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Discussion on the September 1st, 24 wedding cancellation by Hannah Bialik? Yes. Um, Mr. Chairman, this was a wedding ceremony, a wedding plan for September 1, 24, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, she, they have to cancel due to, you know, a myriad of reasons. Typically, I know in the past you've done, if um, a, she's, she's already paid her deposit, but mm -hmm. if that date gets booked, I know in the past you voted to refund the money. Okay. And if it doesn't, then we don't refund Sorry, the Sorry, what was the deposit? It was, was it 20, uh, I have it here. That was an application. 1750. 1750, that sounds right. Um, 1750, yep. Um, so that would be your decision. Do we have a wedding book for that date? Not yet, Not yet. But, it's but it's 2024. 
Yeah. You know, we could so definitely book a wedding on September 1, for sure. Okay, and the policy is 50% non-refundable deposit? Oh, yeah. So the whole deposit, the whole deposit would get taken, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, it, it, it says it right there, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to do on that. Any, any, any um, this one, the, her check says 9323 wedding. She booked it in 2021, if you can believe that. So okay. it was originally booked for 2023 and then okay. extended it to 2024. Okay. I think they're having problems with the fiance and up getting out of the country or she yeah, just doesn't it think it's gonna happen. Like yeah. Wait, the fiance getting out of the country? country yeah, they're in Scotland, I think. They sent a postcard. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it says he's, he's, he's not, he's most likely not able to move to the States. Yeah. Due to family and professional reasons. Right. Um, that's probably because his first family still lives in Scotland. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. What do we got? Anybody have anything? Um, how? Well, we, in the past, we we refunded if the date was booked again. That's what you just said. Yes, exactly. Um, so how long? How long do we get? How long do we give for? that to take place. I guess it would be yeah whenever the date got booked like if we okay you know so as it gets closer yeah we could kind of determine by yeah yeah I mean that's a good point I could let you know if the date gets booked and bring it up again I mean my whole th my whole thing is I feel like and I can't remember like when we had refunds in the past it was more like medical reasons mm -hmm. It's almost going to set a precedence that, you know what I mean, like mm -hmm. you have to keep, yeah. you know, follow that path. Okay, well, we'll hold on and wait for, I mean, it's clearly written in the documentation that was signed along with the deposit that this is what our policy is. Mm -hmm. And if we start moving things around, it's going to become the norm, you know, that's mm -hmm. what I feel anyway. And that's a lot of work <laughs> to be juggling for you to figure mm -hmm. out, um, well, how about September first? Would you like to get married on that day? You know, yeah. just to just to uh, move things around. That's my thoughts. So it would be eight seventy-five, the half. No, no, it would be the seventeen fifty total. Yeah, yeah, because it's a fifty percent yeah. non-refundable deposit is due. Right. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. and they booked it back when the rates got were it. lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Right. Anybody want to make a motion on this one? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do it anyway. Um, I will. I will entertain a motion to um, reject the request. Reject the request the refund. to refund the deposit um, for, for Hannah uh, Bialik on September first, twenty twenty-four. Motion to reject. Reject the deposit refund. Due to the wedding cancellation on September first. Okay. Per second? per the rules and per the per the per what it says. The contract. In, yeah. Per it says bold letters at the yeah. bottom of the contract. So. Yeah. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Fantastic. Thank you. Um, discussion on attending the bridal bash and wedding exposition. Um. So this is we did this. Um, the former rec commission director and myself did this uh, one of these events at uh, Lantana um, it's a wedding um, group that does these you know I think they do some in the West um, Massachusetts and they do them all over but it's called the bridal bash um, and they have two events this year they have one in Sherbourne and then they have one in Walpole um, July 26th in Sherbourne and then September 17th in Walpole. They also have some 2024 dates, Nantasket Beach, Andover, and then Boston Sheridan. Um, and basically we would go, have a table, advertise, get applications, just get our name out there. Um, when I did it, it was amazing. It was real. it was in, obviously, was it Brockton or Randolph? Um, and a lot of people didn't even know we were here. So it was a good way to get our 
name out there and we had pictures on the table and we were able to show you know wedding setups and give out wedding packets and do all that so it's a good advertisement um, I did look it up um, I have to keep negotiating if we decide to do it but last time they gave us a table for 300 bucks um, I did see that they the lowest um, the lowest exhibitor is 699 so I'm gonna see if she can just give us a at least try to match the $300 that she gave us a couple years ago. It might probably be a little bit more, but okay. um, I'll have more information. I don't know if we'll make the July event, but definitely the September one. Okay. Um, and that's in Walpole. And that might be good to get people from the North Shore, too. Mm. Um, you know, so. Okay. Um, no, I, I mean, I think it's a great idea. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's a great idea. Um, yeah. I think the July one may be a little soon, but mm -hmm. um, when is it? July 27th, you said? July 26th. 26th? Is that Saturday? Heritage of Sherborne. I don't know where that is. Where is Sherborne? That's far. Is that Sherborne? Yeah, is like Western Mass, right? I think right? so. Yeah. The, uh, um, that might be a little tr your trek. But oh. Walpole's closer is yeah. September 19th. Yeah, Walpole. And then okay. Natasket is in January. Okay. So, I mean, that you know, we're looking for. Yeah, that'd be a pretty good January in Tasket Beach, huh? That's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be rough. To that's gonna Tasket be rough. Beach. That's gonna be a rough wedding. Um, okay, no, I think that's great. I mean, it was one of those things that I think we need to do anyway, just to kind of get our name. Because right now, I mean, we we we're doing pretty well and just word of mouth, but we can definitely be doing better with with the you know filling up those extra dates. So yeah, and just like and we had done bags. We were we you know, I don't know if you were here. Don't were you? No, I wasn't here. We had done bags. We did uh, have printed bags done, and we handed them out. We stuffed them with all the applications and info. We handed those out. Um, so it was really good last time. Um, you know, we, we would want to have Renee go there with you. If, oh, yeah. if you wanted to go, I don't know if you wanted to go with Renee or yeah. if you just want Renee to go there or something like that. Yeah. I'm not going to be very good at a bridal show. No, yeah. I, I, so. that's what I do for work. Okay. So I just, you know, okay. that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, it's, to do it. I think it's a great idea. I think that we should, you know, what we should do right now is, a, is probably approve, um, the full rate for maybe the September show. Mm -hmm. And then if you can get it lower or we could, Hey, maybe they'll do like, Hey, we'll pay 69, 699, but we'll get the two shows like the Antasca and the, Oh, Walker okay. Yeah, 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 like that. Um, but Cause we have budget. I mean, we have budget money. For, we do have budget money for it. So for like marketing, you know, yeah, I don't see a well, copy of the budget in here, but yeah. table. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's yeah, that's actually pretty cheap. <laughs> I know that some of the some of the tech conferences the sponsorships in Boston, are like, like five thousand. Yeah. yeah, that's the star, and then they go down twenty five hundred. Five thousand isn't even that expensive either yeah. when it comes to sponsorships. So yeah, um, but yeah, no, I I think that, that that's a good idea if you kind of want to run with that, Melissa. With uh, if you and Renee can work together to do that. Yeah. Okay. Was it September nineteenth? The two dates are yeah, sorry, the seventeenth. I think is that uh, nine seventeen. It's the a Avenir. Walpole? Is that a hotel? I don't even know. A-V-E-N-I-R. Walpole. Sounds fancy. And then just January 21st, 24, is the Nantasca Beach one. Okay. okay. So let me do this. I will entertain a motion to approve a budget of $700 for um, the, let me see if I can get this, the Bridal Bash. Bridal Bash. Bridal Show. Um, bridal show um, in September. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Okay. Motion. Or motion. Uh, yeah, motion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Accept gifts from Hansing Housing Authority. Couch for the bridal cottage. Doris Baker. Frayer. Campfire girls vest. Um, bead craft machine. Beads for display and lodge. Roger Means bed for bridal cottage. Dory Jameson. Blue stone and cobblestone for walkway to the bridal cottage. Okay. That's a lot. A lot of gifts. <laughs> yeah, that's, a lot, that's a lot of gifts. Wow. A lot of gifts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. So I'll, I'll let you take this one away, Dory. Okay, thank you. Um, we got a great couch from the Hanson Housing Authority, thanks to Jen's connections. Mm. Nice. Um, and it's really nice. Okay. It's Yeah. It's, it looks is great. it replacing a couch or is it just... It's replacing the futon. Oh, okay. It was kind of old and, yeah. and, and yucky. And this it really looks nice Good. in there. And they got it in. Roger helped with the, getting it, squishing it through the door. Um, <laughs> it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Great. Um, and so that's a big thank you for them. And then Doris Baker Freyer, she came in, she was a campfire girl in the 20s. 
Oh. And she has her original vest and her beads and her oh, wow. bead machine and everything. Yeah. She wants to donate that. Like when she was, when? Oh, she was in the, oh, no, no, oh. what am I saying? Not oh. the 20s. Yeah, I was going to say the 20s. Well, uh, was it the 20s? Okay. A hundred, at least a hundred. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't the 20s then. Um, 30s? 30s. Maybe the 30s. 30s. Could be wow. the 30s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, so she wanted to give it to the camp and, you know, we could put it in the display case mm -hmm. with nice. a name on it and, mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, Roger gave us a bed for the bridal cottage. It looks awesome. It's out on the back deck. Nice. We took the uh, bunk beds out of there, put them into the frontier and put that in as one bed instead of a separation. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Roger. That looks great. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. And people that were just looking at the cottage, they were like, oh, I want to sleep in out the porch. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks awesome. Um, and then at Bluestone and Cobblestone, we've got um, our walkways redone in our front yard and backyard. And there's a lot of bluestone and a lot of cobblestone. Oh, so I thought awesome. it would look nice to make a path from the bridal cottage that we always wanted to do. Yeah, it would be awesome. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Is yeah. there enough to do all of it or do we need to purchase more? No, I think we get, there's a lot. I think we have enough to do the whole thing. Okay. Um, and awesome. I think, yeah, depending how wide we make it. And we just have to have the, the person who did our work is going to deliver. To here, which is great. Oh, awesome. a lot of it. Yeah, he's going to deliver it, and uh, yeah, then we'll be able to um, have a nice walkway. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Dory. Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, I'll entertain a motion to accept all those gifts. Motion to accept. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Um, okay, appointment of lifeguards and gate attendees. See attached list, and boy, oh boy, it's a big one. Uh, let me see. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it is growing by the minute. Like, uh, what? Okay. <laughs> Good Lord. Because they were just added like three more people today. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, today, uh, yeah. they're on this. They're on the list, so, um, but so, so right now, then she and Jim's the one that is going to be going into the military in late September and is going into the specialized marine training. So he actually is a really good swimmer. And I was like, all right. So I said, can you make Thursday and Friday training? He's like, yep. Okay. I'm like, all right. Awesome. So, and that's lifeguard. That's yeah. lifeguard. Mm -hmm. So Ben Sheehan would be added to this list okay. oh, of the okay. lifeguard. And oh, that's what that other name was. Now it's got, like too much information. So somebody said that Briar Gibbs wanted, no? Brian Gibbs just came up as a name, and I don't, is that on your radar? No, I'm not aware of it. So, no, the person that I, I was getting information about was on here, Cassie. Cassie. Okay, she might have. I was thinking. Yeah, so she has somebody who possibly wants to be a lifeguard. Mm -hmm. So if they can make the training tomorrow, great. If not, there's a training June 30th at the line, which is what? What Was it lifeguard, John? She originally wanted to be, she lives over here on Woodman Tower. She but, uh, wanted to originally be a gatekeeper, but all those positions got filled as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. Ago. And she said that if, if nothing was available gatekeeper wise, that she was interested in being a lifeguard, which I spoke to her, Margaret, and she said that she's getting out of a job that she has now. She can't get out of work until 3 o'clock, so she can't do the Thursday night. Okay. But if she wanted to do the June 30th at the Y, she could sign up. Okay. I just found out that the East Bridgewater Y, they don't host anything, but they, they have been having courses. Oh. So I, again, through my little glitch of my trainer being sick, it was like reaching out to find out who I could get as a backup just in case. Mm -hmm. um, and so I now have some backup names. That's the good thing. So like for future trainings and moving things forward. Um, so if, if the, yeah, she could, she might have to call to see if there's any spots, but the hand, the hand wise has been doing them a lot. Okay, so it's doing very good. Yeah, yeah. So that's what one of our people is going to do. Um, what's her name? Okay, so should we add that to the list then? Because this is the, the point to be appointed. I mean, we, we, I don't know, we may just, it will be okay to, I mean, she might not be able to start right away, but like, when would be the next time we could do that? Like, uh, it'd be the next meeting, yeah, so it'd be like July, you know, probably July 10th. July 10th. It would probably be the next meeting. She didn't get it all done. The next time would be July 10th, but she'd still have. You still have two, two months, yeah, a month yeah. and a half, two months. Too. You know, so that would be an option, but. Okay. Um, and by that time, we might have figured out, you know, well, I'm not gonna, I actually, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not, yeah, I I'm not so, gonna say it, so. systems or whatever, so, yeah. like, so we, Dory and I found out that there were quite a few people who got stuck down at the camp, I mean, the, down the hall. So, um, 
Tessa Feely. Mm -hmm. So her her mom was one of my former guards, and she's been down the beach for years and years and years. And they applied in March. We never got it, and we still don't have it. So like, and they they, they have a copy at home. I have a feeling. She gave it to me. Just oh, she gave it. Yeah. Good. Thank God. That's the same one. Cassidy. She's applied. She never heard. Yeah. So you, I'm sorry, you're saying Tessa Feely. So I see her on here. Yeah, for yeah Tessa Feely. Okay. So, um, so the ones you got all the ones from today. So we have. Um, yep. Okay. Mike. Through. And then so James showed up. James. Yep. He showed up. Um, yep. And now we have Ben Sheehan who's filling up paperwork. So that's that's twelve. Lifeguards. Yep. One, two, three. Right. That's seven, could I, nine, I make ten, ten. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, go ahead, Dory. Um, Margaret. Um, Bridget. Is that? No, nope, she's not. Okay, so she, cross. So Bridget was my daughter. Bridget was begging, and I said, if I need you, will you do it? She said yes. And then when we finally said it again, it's the names. I was like, Rothbach. Oh, good. Okay. okay. So, she works forty hours a week at CVS. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. But she was willing to do it. And I was like, all right. So is that? Do we, is so, that really so that's ten. Hours? Ten. Ten. Yeah, and then I'm obviously a lifeguard. But right. I, I will. I will include you in that list. Right. So yeah. at the beginning, I mean, I I will, you know, I, I I'm gonna have to train. Do, they, they're all green. Yep. They are all green. So what is the plan for next week? We open Sunday. So we open Sunday. <laughs> I have staff. I sent them out um, a tentative schedule mm -hmm. of who is opening. I'm on the roster mm -hmm. for the first few days just because I have to do mm -hmm. like, I have to do live training. Mm -hmm. Luckily, the weather's not going to be that great, mm -hmm. so we're going to get a nice soft opening, I think, mm -hmm. for at least to some people. But like we have some very enthusiastic. Like Brogan is gung ho, like wants to be like Ra Ra Kumba. Mm -hmm. She wants to work 40 hours. Her friend of ours wants to work 40 hours. A lot of them want to work 20 hours, mm -hmm. which ends up giving us some flexibility with. Some programming mm -hmm. so that I can have one guard on and I can teach some programming and I won't have to guard so my hours won't be used for guarding. Okay. Right? Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yep. So like I think we could run a swim club for four or five weeks and charge fifty dollars a kid. And if we get ten kids, it pays for itself. Yeah. Okay. I would expect that we would get more. Um I, if there was two people, I could have 50 people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we would have, I could write up a description. Kids would have to have some basic swimming skills and that stuff. It wouldn't be lessons, you know. Well, given that, and I don't want to be double downer, given yeah. the time, yeah. given that a lot of families have yeah. camps already scheduled. Yeah. Summer's planned. Right. I don't want to be like super. Like, are we going to okay. do lessons or is this swim club separate from lessons? Swim club would be sort of like so. When I train these kids, I could probably like Thursday, Friday, and we have a staff meeting on Saturday. I can see who'd be willing to do stuff, but they're green. I don't know. If so I don't know. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't know if we want to be ambitious. If we just want to do the camp, you like get the get the cove open and get that running, is it too ambitious to run extra additional programs? Right. And say we need a minimum of 25 people to run. Yeah. So here's what I, here's what I would do personally. I feel like we would go because next year people are gonna say, okay, we want swim club and swim lessons, right? So we should pick one. Like if the swim club's the easiest one to yeah. do for this year, and right. we think we have it, we don't necessarily have to start it now. We can start it in July, right? Yeah, and we can say, okay, it wouldn't start until like, yeah. Like, like July tenth, and we did yeah. it for five weeks. Yeah, that's five weeks of something. It would be like yeah. an hour. Yeah, right. and by that time, hopefully by July, by July tenth, we'll have a good feeling about how the cove's cool. doing, and like right. everybody will kind of be in the right. right state of mind. We'll have the schedules kind of figured out. So I feel like doing it now would be a bad idea. Doing it a month would probably be a lot better. Okay. And then we can kind of bring back the program and say, oh, we've got swim club this year. Next year we'll bring back swim right. lessons. And no so problem. I just feel like we have to have some. We have to post something on the cove that says right. there will be no swim lessons because people are asking and wondering right. the information. Yes. I mean that we could definitely do that. I okay. mean we could definitely post something on there. This year we're just so we'll just say you don't have to stand yeah, yeah, just stand. Yeah, the only thing yeah, like just to stand. Yeah, the swim club from ten right. to eleven. But great news, the cold yeah. will have lifeguards will and will be operational. Right. And, and again, you do a swim club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's you know again, I do this for a living, um, and I have sorry, good question. Me. Um, training is it paid? 
Um, is it paying? The training? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm going to do like a one hour training. How many hours is it? Lifeguard training. The Five. lifeguard training is is not paid. We're paying, we're paying $150 at the end of the season. No, I think there are already lifeguards. Oh. But I think it's not the training. Right? Oh, so the Saturday training? Okay. They're not employees That's yet, so. So they don't get nothing. They don't get nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Join the club. Yeah, join the club. It's <laughs> just like, yeah. I, I, I know I'm early. I, I, like, when I became a teacher, I, all those training, you had to go four days of training, and then none of it was paid. Mm. Yeah. Four days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, not for nothing. Um, I, feel, I feel like in, in if, on our July 10th meeting, if we want to set up something or, you know, if we want to approve a swim club now, we could start it in, like, mid-July yeah, and do so it that way. I think we could do... So how about how about this? How about we approve? Yeah. We we, uh, we can take a vote to approve the swim camp, and then you can let us know if you want to go forward with it, because you're going to have the best pulse on on everything that's down there. So, so. Tenth is a Monday. Okay. Now that's a month away. Yeah. yeah. We can do one, two, three, four, five weeks, and it goes through mm -hmm. the first three months. Okay. Yeah. So that okay. That gives us plenty of time. We have enough staff. I can do the swim club with one lifeguard by myself. Okay. That's something to get. A, yeah. like I was telling these two guys, it, yeah. the beach is open for another hour a day that the riffraff aren't coming in. Yeah. That's my, so I'm down here all the time. My brother's down here all the time. The Nimrods that are down there to be politically incorrect yeah. are wrecking it. Like they, they, they were smoking, they were drinking, they were doing hibachis down there, like two weeks ago. What's a hibachi? It's hibachi. Hibachi. Oh, hibachi. Oh, I thought you said hibachi. You no, know, they're like, okay. you know, they're, they're, they're just running the joint. Like, well, who was, who was down there that was doing that, though? So, what? Because. Just, just people sneaking in. Okay. So, and right now, so I have the, the dates towards the um, the old gate down um, the caretaker's house. Those they have pretty much ripped open, and they're, I watched people just go in that way, and people are going around in, in, the, okay. in the water. So mm -hmm. I, and then so I did the lifeguard course on Saturday, and I had to tell about 15 people in my very most professional town, "Hi, we're doing the lifeguard training now, and you can't come in." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh God, I didn't plan on coming in. Oh yeah, yeah, you were. You were coming in. <laughs> um, I, I did my most telephone voice. We, we need to get out of here. Yeah, we need to be more aggressive. I know, Roger, yes. you have access to the security cameras. I know yeah. a couple of people at Town Hall do. So, yeah. If we see people on the beach after hours, we need to let, yeah. like, Hanson PD know. So there's a I mean, sign in the get town. Yeah. So there's a sign inside the cove on the beach house that says, so we are going to go. Yeah. Um, and then we just need to start just posting up you know, signs. The beach is, you know, no longer. So at your own risk, mm -hmm. this, I think you're getting know. off topic here. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jen. Not to interrupt you. I just have a simple question. Okay, Roger obviously has the authority to tell people after hours. Everybody has the authority to tell people. Do that. I have yes. the authority if yes. I say I'm going that way? And yeah, no. If in you a see, nice if, professional yeah, manner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, I'd obviously be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. So I, if, if anybody sees anybody down there when they're not supposed to be down there, right? Like you can, everybody who is an employee here has the authority to go say, you know, if they get crazy about it, just step back and yeah. call, call, call the police, right? But I'm talking about like in the middle of the night, if, you know, it's two in the morning or something like that, Roger's watching the security camera, sees the security camera, somebody's yeah. there, then I'm not, I'm not expecting, yeah, I'm not expecting Roger to go down there and take it off the beat. I'm expecting him to just call the police. Right. right, in the middle of the day, it's different, but. I was know. just inquiring, like, say, if I close an event and um, the boyfriend or someone is giving me a ride home, and I look over and I see cars there and I can see motion on the beach. I, I wouldn't engage in that. I, I, I no. wouldn't, no. No, two on the morning, nothing could happen. No, I just call the police. Just call, just call people that are, Right. So we have to reestablish that as well. And like, yeah. They used to do group, like routine coming up and mm -hmm. checking in with us. They'd come on the beach. You know, so it was yeah. like... Fox and well, we should yeah. we should notify them that we are going to be operational. Yes. You okay. Know. So so I'm sorry we are we are getting yeah. off topic. So yeah. so let let's I'm sorry, Dory. Did you have no, I just wanted to say that it's just so you know, Jen, I, I wouldn't engage in that. And Margaret, every morning at eleven, will be clearing the beach. You know, yeah. and from eleven to seven, it'll be monitored. Okay. So yeah. it'll yeah. be handled. I mean, yeah, yeah. 
I, I go. I, I went down there before and told people to get off the beach, and then you know they look at me like I'm, you know, yeah. whatever. So I, I, I so. can tell you I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, okay. So let's get. Some of them we tried to close, they didn't even move. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there was like there was there was, there was yeah there was one family there was one like twenty person family that came into the beach after I closed. I was still standing there long enough, yeah. and then I saw them like yeah. literally throwing bags over the side. I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> And they're, like, and they're like, oh, just so you know, they just walk no, around. I'm like, I'm like, sorry. like you know what, dude? I was like, it's it's late September. I just got home from work. I was like, I'm just <laughs> yeah. sorry. Anyway, so um, okay, so I will make a motion to approve the lifeguards and the gate attendants listed um, on the handout that Dory gave us. I don't know if I need to go through every one of their names. No, just as presented. As presented. Okay. okay. Uh, motion to approve the lifeguard list and the gate attendant list. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. Thank you. Are we charging for the swim club? Sorry. Yes. So we, if we would charge, I, I think fifty dollars would cover the cost of right. Yeah. I, I think I had done that once. We could double check, but um, if we do it and we get at least ten people, I believe it would cover. Yeah. Okay. Staff. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead, Dory. Did, did you want to take a vote on the rates, rate of pay for the lifeguards? Yes. That's a good point. Um, okay. So I was I, I was thinking about the rate of pays for everybody and let me know if you disagree or agree. I was thinking for part time lifeguards we can pay them seventeen. For full time lifeguards we could pay them eighteen or eighteen fifty or whatever we want to pay them. And then for gate attendance we can probably pay them fifteen. And the range is what? The range is fifteen to twenty five on all those positions. Fifteen fifteen. Fifteen to twenty five. Yeah, there's, there's nobody with extensive experience. Um, James, who wants to do it part time, you know, has worked at the Y, he's worked on, but you know, everybody else is green, but they're all getting certified, and so that's, you know, mm -hmm. they all have that responsibility, and that is what the going rate is in this area right now. So 17, 18, 50, and 15 would be 17 for the part time, 18, 50 for yeah. full time, yeah. and then gatekeepers would be 15. Correct. And just to be clear, when I say part time, I'm just talking about lifeguards who work less than, or like less than, what, four, 20. 20. Well, in, in, in a, yeah, less than 20, okay, so we'll be part-time. When I say part-time, I don't want to confuse it with like our caretakers who are part-time, you know, who, who work less, I don't know. But yeah. So, yeah, okay, so so anybody who works less than 20 hours a week um, will be considered part-time for this, will get paid 17. Anybody who works over 20 hours a week will get paid 1750. And then, the gatekeepers, 1850, 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. sorry, 1850, and then the gatekeepers will be 15. Yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll, ent I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, lifeguard wages for $17 for anybody who works 20 hours or under, um, 1850 for anybody who works 20 hours and above, uh, 20 hours, hours, yeah. 20 hours or over, mm -hmm. um, and then the gate attendance would be $15 per hour. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Sheila. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Next, uh, is that all? all yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, approval of the format and wording of beach passes. Yeah. Go ahead, Dory. Okay. Yep. Um, so this is the copy of the pass. And we just wanted your approval and just to look at the wording as well, um, where it says, swim at your own risk during beach hours if no lifeguard on duty. Is that needs okay? To go. No. Okay, I knew this I was a thing. I already talked effect. to Renee. Renee about that, and it needs to go. The whole line? The whole line. Because that is no longer what we're saying. Right. People are paying to come in. Right. And that's why we have left out. That's why we have yeah. left out. So that, is, that has to go, and there's a sign down there that has to go. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I, I thought think everything else was okay. Yeah, I think everything else. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Did the town hold in harmless? Is that came from legal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little thing. But the whole so your own risk now is mm -hmm. that should be fine. Um and okay, and then I just wanted to ask you too, did you want to do different colors? Like we'll print all these tomorrow and get them laminated. Mm -hmm. Like a different color for a resident pass, like a green for a resident, 
whatever, and then a different color for non-resident? Or I don't think we really needed to that. Okay. I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't because they're all going to be on a list anyway. So right. it's not. You know, we'll just look up pass number one. We'll see it. It doesn't really matter how much they pay as long as they have a pass. Right. Like yeah. I don't know. Do we even want to do resident and non-resident? Like, does that even matter? Because they've paid per they pay based they on that. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't. Once they pass. Yeah. yeah. Why get too? Into Why get too it? into it? If, yeah, yeah. Just do Cranberry Cove Beach Pass. That's fine. Yeah, that's we don't have to okay. do resident on it. It doesn't really matter at that point. They're, they're, you know, they bought a pass. They're supporting the Cove. I don't care if they're resident. These are only the season passes, though. What about the day pass? So there is, there is no. I'm sorry. Our, our water thing broke at our house. My husband was like, warning me that things are leaking. Um. <laughs> So the day passes, they will get a rest band. Okay. So anybody that Dory and I have talked about this, and this was this happened the last time, is that like when campus and the Jovenity family comes in, they get like so this week or this day or this weekend we're doing it. We've probably for a week. We're doing orange this week, so they're gonna get a wrist band, and we put the dates and sharpie on it. Oh. Okay. Every single person gets it, and they have to wear it the whole weekend. Okay. So that's their day pass. Okay. So they'll get a wrist band. Okay. And so, like, if we have somebody comes in for the day, they want them to move to two hours, go home for lunch, come back, they have that wristband on, and the, the dates will be on. Okay. Sound fair? Should we put season pass on this, though? I don't know. No, because no, you have 2023 20, on there, so. Okay. 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 Um, I think this looks good. Um, I think that once we approve this tomorrow, we need to send an email out to these people and tell them exactly the process for coming to get the pass. Mm -hmm. Um, just because people are, are asking for it um, quite extensively. So um, I don't know if we can just say, hey, you know, just let you know, we're printing out the passes right now. Um, your pass will be available for pickup at the, at the Cove, day one, come by, pick it up, if you, even if you're using it, or just come pick it up next time, you know, you're bringing your family to the Cove or something like that, just to give them a heads up. Um, and then, you know, I would just say sorry for the late response. Yeah. Um, just and because you did you know. send out that email. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I didn't get it. That's fine. Oh, but yeah, I didn't see it. Because you were on it. Um, oh, was I? Yeah. You, you Where did it go? I don't, I don't know. know. It's, but anyway, it's we can now. do that, and we were exactly going to do that because not everybody can make the you know hours here yeah. that, to pick them up on. If right. that's okay, I'm going to discuss just, that. That's what the just pick them up on something and pick up their passes. Pick up their passes. passes. Yeah. Okay. Do we have an update on how many we've actually sold? Yes. 60, 62? Yeah, 62 passes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Well, maybe now people know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So just so just so I'm clear, so someone comes, it's just they don't have a season pass. They come for the day pass. It's five dollars. They sign up a sheet. Is there a waiver that they have to sign? There is a. Going back on that one. Day pass. I don't think there was a waiver. Okay. I mean, we'll have, we'll probably have something. Yeah, I mean, you want to have, I don't, I don't remember there being a waiver for the day passes. It was, we took their name, their numbers. Oh, you know what? I think we made them sign the rules and regs. Regs, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. It was just, I, I, they had to do something, but I don't think it was. Okay. Right. So what, do we have the rules and regulations printed out on a, on a laminated it's piece of paper and they, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then with the name, I think they had to sign, they had to put their name and yeah. email or something. And then you all their name. And then you like, stand I think yes. Yeah. The adult for a license or something. Okay. But the only thing is, like, I guess normally 12 year olds and up have been allowed to come up on bikes or whatever to come into the day. So, I mean, I guess that's the other thing. They obviously they're not going to have a license. Do you have a plan to meet with them like Saturday, the gatekeepers, and go through what yep. the procedures are and stuff? So, Saturday, I invited everybody that was on the original list. I don't know if <laughs> we'll have to add Tessa and whoever else to that list. Mm -hmm. I think, did I tell that? I think I might have said it to Tessa, right? I think so. Um, I'm going to do an hour training down there, and then I'm going to do um, on-the-job training. So I'm going to have two gatekeepers for the first week or two together, mm -hmm. just because yeah. we need to, you know, kind of be making sure that they are kind of monitoring each other. We'll model it, what it will look like. So I'll, I'll grab a blank triple um, receipt thing that we talked about, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh, yeah. We're going to have the receipt books. Yep. And we'll go through how they have to do it and how we want to tally the money and make sure that the receipts equal the money in the bag. And so we always start with $20. So at the beginning of the season, you guys give us $20, you know, fives and ones. So yeah, we can do that. And then we always should have $20 
in there, but everything else should should be equal. The receipts and the the money should always be equal. And they'll bring that and up every day. The, and then there's a. Um, and then I can turn it over. That has to be a better way. Oh, believe me, <laughs> I've been asking. Has to be a better way. For many years, oh. for a way. Um, we need a hot spot down there. First of all, to do electronic yeah, check-ins. Like, so, for baseball, at this point. yeah, for for baseball, we have a square terminal yeah. that doesn't require Wi-Fi. And, and so, yeah. if, yes, so, we, we should be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. So all the all so what happens is you put your is, card is in and it goes through. The same person that has been here for hundred years. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Still not there. Okay. So that's not going to change. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I don't know what we mean. What happens if we just yeah. open up one anyway? And then go through, but um, oh, sorry, 21st century. This is what our kids are working on. Yeah, 21st century skills. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, 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 yeah, we have to figure out something. To so do with I that. think we should be able to technologize, have an iPad for check ins, and that's yeah, something I think we should be able to do. But right now, we're going to do it the old way, mm -hmm. and we just need to prepare for a bag of coins. And a bag of coins. <laughs> Like, and we just so smile, biggest, smile and nod. So our biggest check, you know, job like that is that we convince people if you see them two days in a row, oh, you know what? Yeah. Why don't we buy the pass? Because it's going to be much cheaper in the long run if you have a family yeah. of five and you're paying twenty five dollars now. Yeah. It's five five trips up here you've paid for. It. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's a lot of that's what the first few weeks are going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let, let's let's get let's let's go back to the agenda real fast. So um so okay so is everybody um okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve the Cranberry Cove passes with the exception of take resident out of the title, um, take swim at your own risk during beach hours if no lifeguard on duty out of the pass, um, and then that is it. Anything else? Am I missing anything? I think that's no. it, right? No. Are you gonna make them cranberry red? Um. Laminated with a. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. Probably make them cranberry red. Yeah. Well, it'll be hard to see. Yeah. You know, like, oh, that's true. Yeah. So okay. You, you know, if you got crazy, you do a red border or something. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> can we? Can we do tan with cranberry writing? That's a good idea. Also, too, is I don't know how who did this, but maybe put the Kiwani logo. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Put the logo up yeah. on the top. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be good. But other than that, I, I think this is the same format that you guys used to use, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, okay. So I'll entertain a motion to remove the uh, to to approve the beach pass, um, with the exception of remove, with with removing the residents out of the title, swim at your own risk during beach hours, and if no lifeguard is on duty, with a tan card stock, with <laughs> with cranberry if not salmon colored writing on it. And we'll do the logo up in the top uh, right corner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, motion. Motion. Okay, do I have a second? <laughs> have a second. 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 Okay, all those in favor. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, great. Um, and Margaret, I'm going to do a Facebook post. Yes. Um, just saying, Cove is open. Um, Sunday, starting at 11 a.m. Yep. Um, so if we can have extra applications. For people to fill out, um, and then a little bit of cash yep. to start the till. Mm -hmm. And cash box? Do we have a cash? I, I I did not see one in there, but we were talking about getting the money bags um, right at mm -hmm. HB Mason. Yep. So we're gonna get two. One that will be always be in, and the next one, like we'll put it in in the box. In, uh, there's a drop box in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we should have a cash box, right? not like a register yeah. on the de on the table, have, right? But you can still have the, the money back. Isn't there a oh, cash box down there? I, I didn't see it the last isn't time I went. Isn't there a square on that rack? Isn't there a, the day we were cleaning it out? Isn't there a square metal, like gray box yes. that we couldn't figure out what key? Yeah, that would be the cash box, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be a little key. And there was a, oh, what a there is a safe in the wall. Mm -hmm. If you need a cash box, they don't cost that much. Yeah, I have so. one. I have one that I don't use for petty cash in my office. I'll drop it so off. So I will with a lock. Thursday, oh, I, I will. Um, well, tomorrow actually, Robbie's gonna come down. I'm gonna press on my face. Third time's a charm. Um, to go through the equipment with me again and, okay. and make plans to do the um, lifeguard training on the. Lock. Did we purchase the new equipment yet? We did. 
for that. Yeah, you, you find okay. like a bad an account with okay. the lifeguard store yeah, awesome. and um, purchased everything. Um, thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. I know it's been it's been a crazy couple of weeks. She almost convinced me to be a lifeguard too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm working. I work a couple days a week, I guess. I, mean, um, I was like, I'm like, yeah. I'm asking my mom, I'm like, I know you can swim. But yeah. I, like, <laughs> I, I know you're working at CVS full time job. Yeah. Uh, can you get, can you get the it? Like, yeah, no, I appreciate it. It's, it's been it's been a struggle, yeah. Yeah. struggle so, getting here, but hopefully this is the last yeah. year that we have. So to I, I don't know, Frank, filming my my lifeguard trained up very very sick, mm. um, and he was in the hospital over like multiple times over a few weeks. Mm. Um, being the 26 year old that he is, he kind of minimized and didn't really mm. communicate effectively. So I had to drag, I, I had to send my nurse friend to the hospital yesterday with him. Yeah, and say. Is he doing better now? He's doing better now. Okay. Like I said, I, you know, I, I have a backup, a backup plan, but um, he, he says we're going to do it. We're going to make it. So I'm like, okay. Awesome. Um, but now I also have people. What I want them to do is come in and do a train either late July to do another lifeguard training mm -hmm. for kids who are, you know, maybe turning 15, because right? that's they can technically do it work at a private pool, yeah. or you know, but they can't do it in a public pool. Yeah. Um, but and then we do a pre lifeguarding class, get that up and running. Yeah, for next year. And then possibly, I now have a WSI trainer mm -hmm. who said she'd be willing to come down and do a WSI lifeguard. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. So if I can convince these people that, hey, do you, you know, and again, we will help. Well, if they see like a more, you know, Organized program down here. It'll, yeah. it'll yeah. entice people. They'll talk to people about that. Yeah. yeah, you know. Because I, I heard a rumor that the Bridgewater Y, a couple people were that were lifeguards or even just staff. It's really, it's really tough there. Like it's very strict. It's very and strict. I was like, well, come here. We're really fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what my son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want like, family. Yeah. We, you know, yeah. the whole yeah. thing, and that's part of the reason why. You know, again. Yeah. I'm like. Well, keep me updated too. on the um, swim club. Yes, we can post will, that as we go. Yeah, you know. I, I think July 10th we can get that up and running. Okay. I will go back and do the math. Um, how much we need to just break even and any extra bonus. We should approve um, that. Do our Yeah, we, we should approve more? that. What's that? Are you are you still actively looking for more lifeguards? Is that what you're just saying? Um, or you got well, right now, now should we might have it? I can good? I can run it. Like so, I have to be a lifeguard. Yeah. I can run the swimming teaching part because again, I, I can do it my hands are behind my back. So that is not an issue. My worry is that I, I obviously don't want to work too many hours gotcha. as a lifeguard and then try to get this. So now we have enough lifeguards to cover and I don't have to do that. Like, but are you first, looking for more? Yeah. Okay. So like, what is the number like you're looking for? For lifeguards? Yeah. How many? Um, I mean, I think if we can get one more, that'd be great. Because again, we're going to have more have people going on the, okay, gotcha. these different vacations. But it just gives me the opportunity to go in and say, okay, yeah. if we get people running, if I convince enough people to say, would you be interested in one week clinic? Because right now, shit. Is it? Is it? Uh, some? Would you be looking more for one more in a full time status or a part time status? I think anything. I think anything. You know, okay. I think anything at this point, because again, it just gives us that flexibility. Okay. Yeah. The other thing I was telling Dory about, and again, I don't know if this is going to come back up, you know, we had people do birthday parties down there. So they would ask them to do a birthday party, they'd be 10 people, 12 people. It's still charging $5 a head, but it's, it's an, you know, we've gone up to 25. If it's up to 25, I have to get another lifeguard. Mm -hmm. And then, again, that just gives the kids who do want to work more. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my hope, is that I'm convincing them that it's going to be a nice experience. They're gonna, we already have a couple that want to work 40 hours. Okay. Um, so then we have some birthday parties. We make it, we build up those things that we used to do. Yeah, sure. Um, and again, we could have a birthday party from 10 to 12. Right. Like, you know, and have two guards there. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's no... Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, so we start posting that kind of stuff. Okay, so let me, let me do this. I'll entertain a motion for Margaret to um, set up a swimming camp. Yeah. Do we um, need to make a motion? Do we have to make a motion for that, Tori? I mean, can't she just, um, since she's the beach director, isn't that something? It's programming. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, yeah. that's fine then. Because yeah. um, I feel like if we can just do it as we yeah. grow, and if like, I get enough parents to say, can you do a lesson for this yeah. week? I'm available. I'll do a lesson for you know, yeah. But I, you know, it will be limited. I can't do what we did five years ago. 
but baby it, steps. It's starting right. baby mm -hmm. steps. Yeah, yeah, small things. So that, that's that's what that's what we've been saying the whole time. Is right. yeah. like get the cove open. Yeah. Once right. the cove's right. open yeah. and we're charging Four people. Four days ago, it. I was not there. Four yeah. days ago, I was like. Yeah, it was rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, it was mm -hmm. like you know, I have to say room and, and like these kids that I've been talking to and, and the kids that I train, all of a sudden it's like oh, you know, yeah. it's like it's gonna be a good job. You know, so. No, we appreciate it, Margaret. Right. We really do. Thank you very much. If uh, Stacy's still there, so I can fill up my paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you leaving? I was going to go and fill up paperwork. Can I just want to chat with you after? Okay, okay. that's awful. Oh, There's one, one interview that you got to do, too. Right? Margaret did it. I think I did it. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah, all right. I'm just doing what you Sorry. Okay. Um, okay, so. Does anybody have anything for team reports? We're going to talk about that, so I'm going to table team reports. No. What's that? No, nothing. Oh, okay. Um, okay, old business. Um, I don't think we'll... Do, do we have an update on the budget and how we are in the budget? Um, I, budget? I didn't get it. I printed one. Uh, let's, we could do it under old business. I mean, we're doing great. Well, it's the end, almost the end of the fiscal year. Okay. Um, I just want so. to know how much we have left in the budget before we run out. Or not run, no, we're not going to run out. I'm sorry. Before the yeah. end, before the end of the month, um, yeah. just oh, so yeah. we get a good idea. But um, I can show you. Okay, so if yeah, Dory, if you could print like two, three copies of that real fast, that'd be great. Or if you just want to get one copy, and we'll pass it around, and then by that, I'll go to facilities report. Um, yeah, while I'll you're go doing that. The budget. It's a, yeah, yeah, thank you. Take me one second. Um, okay, Roger. Uh, facilities manager report. All right. Um, I don't think we did it last month, but the uh, bridal show I think was a success. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we made fifteen hundred dollars on uh, table reservations. That's awesome. And we got at least two bookings out of it. Did we now? Yes. Nice. And is that including the people who won the raffle or the the? Uh, one of them was yes. Okay. Awesome. No, it's yeah. still good. That's, that's what we're it's anticipating. So. It was all positive. A lot of people uh, came that uh, didn't even know we existed. That's awesome. So I think we got a lot of good uh, publicity on. That was a very nice job. Yeah, it was September was it September first, twenty twenty four? Yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> the September first, twenty twenty four. No, it's just uh, anyways. Anyway, another one? No, no. <laughs> uh, I think yeah, I think that I think we should definitely do another one next year. I think yeah. a little bit more advanced planning, yeah. sponsorship. I think yeah. that getting the tables, you know, right. getting more vendors in. And try to advertise uh, Renee Hewitt uh, as well. Yes. Yeah. No. My category. Yeah. No. Yeah. That was that was really good, and um, I liked the, what you did to the bridal cottage. It looks really nice. The shutters that you did on there, I really liked the shutters that you put on there. So right. um, it was it was you you touched up the camp very well, yeah. and um, it's good awesome. The interior got painted as well. Good. Like uh, Dory said, we got a new couch in there. Nice. Uh, looks better. The bed is in there, so I mm -hmm. feel free to check it out. There's, there's no question about it. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, as far as the move of the air conditioner, um, in the past, there's been a window air conditioner in the uh, back room, which was useless mm -hmm. because the door gets left open. Back room where? Tries, sorry, back room. In the just outside the where the bar is. Oh, okay. On okay. the back side of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it always was in there. It was running 24-7, trying to keep that room cool, the kitchen cool, because the kitchen has no air conditioning. Mm -hmm. The bar, uh, the bar as well. Um, I took a couple pictures just to show you what I'm trying to do. This is on the exterior of the building. Oh, there's, there? there's an existing hole that's there, mm -hmm. but it's been covered over the screen and like birds that? just build nests in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the opposite side, that would be right up above here. Okay. Why so is what? there a hole there? I think, what was it? Do we know? Maybe what? years ago there was an air conditioner there. Oh. I have no idea. The bar complains it's hot in there. Right. So you want to you want to basically cut through that existing hole into the, in here and then Correct. put the air conditioner in. There. Put a portable air conditioner in there. It would be working a smaller area and help keep them guys cool. Okay. So uh, a portable air conditioner or a? It's just in a regular window AC. Okay. So a window a window air conditioner because when I think portable, I think of the one that you can like put oh, on the ground yeah. and move oh, around. Two. Yeah, yeah, it's with the one yeah. with two. It's yeah. a window air con uh, air conditioner. It's a six thousand BTU, which is basically just a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm looking to do there. Okay. Um, okay. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, would the backside like get heat from the kitchen? Would that generate enough to cool in that area? There's a door. So oh, the door is off, quiet so already yeah. to be closed. 
so yeah. the patrons can't see all our garbage up back. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's confined in the small area. The air conditioning in here does not get into the bar area because it's not directly blown there. Also, this air conditioner, and we're not going to get into that, is too small yeah. for the area that's trying to cool. Mm -hmm. So it'd be just nothing but benefit. Okay. Anything? No, I think it's if it's, there's an existing outside, you know, we're not cutting into shingles and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there's an existing outside, that's fine. I, mean, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't extend that window. Like I don't know what. what how big is the outside window again? I, I, maybe it'll I, fit. It'll fit in there. It'll fit in there without any. Change in the square. Okay, so so the square, the the, the window that's there. Yep. You won't be cutting into the. You'll just essentially be cutting the drywall on the inside the and then putting the it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's. Completely. And then what do you do to to seal it, like? To, uh, so no leaks or anything like that. I think you like would that. seal it. Would you? I would either have well, to. Well, there's going to be space. I may have to put some wood trim in there to okay. close all gaps, but all gaps will be closed. Yeah. Okay. And you're going, so so when you do it, are you going to frame off the outside too and then kind of like you're putting a new window to extend it? Are you, so are you going to trim off the bar area one and then? I'll trim the bar area so that looks like it was built in, which it's going to be built in. It's not going to be something you take out in the fall. Yeah. It's staying in permanently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so then okay. it on the inside and outside. And you're going to trim, you're going to do it kind of like a window, um, a window framing Correct. in the middle, right? Okay. Covering okay. in the winter type thing, it can be covered. It can be covered. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's all. Okay. okay. Plus in that kitchen in wintertime, too, yeah, make, yeah. It, make it hot in there, too. You might still want to turn it on. Mm. It's kind True. Of, mm. Or open the door at that point, but um, okay. So I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve Roger putting a uh, AC in the existing window that's over there, um, cutting through the drywall in the bar area, and framing in that AC. Motion to approve. We're going to have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Fantastic. Great. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Um, thanks to Jan and Jack and Frankie. I got her name this time. <laughs> uh, we've been getting a lot of other painting done. Good. This deck is half painted. Uh, we will proceed as we can. Obviously, Jen did a great job yesterday on lawn. Instead of mm -hmm. doing more painting, we got to keep our normal maintenance up. Uh, we had an extremely busy weekend this weekend, and everything went well. Uh, we lost two picnic tables, which I expect anyways, because they're all garbage to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have materials to rebuild new ones. I'm hoping to build between 10 and 15 of them over time. Okay. Would it just be easier to buy them? How much would they cost just to buy them? I have a price to pick the table in years. So okay. Like one of the, like one, I'm, I'm talking about one of the. Yes, probably about 300 piece. Yeah, I would say that. Are you talking about the, not the wood ones, the. Um, no, I'm talking about the wood ones. That man made material. No, no I'm talking about straight wood. I'm oh, talking about wood. actual wood picnic tables. Nobody wants a man-made picnic table. It's I garbage. know. Everybody wants a wood picnic I table. I know, but they don't last. No, they, I mean, they, uh, they're pressure treated. They should last probably about 10 years. Well, the ones that we got before, they were not pressure treated. Yeah, well, if you build them out of plywood, uh, it's, yeah. it's going to be it's gonna be a little bit different. But the, pressure, <laughs> the nice pressure treated ones, they usually last a pretty long time. Yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, I, I would price that out before you go off and build, and build 15 of them, um, just to see if it's better just to order them and, you know, order them and get them this year if we wanted to do it this year and kind of have it because we have the budget for it this year i mean i don't want to go crazy with the budget but we mm -hmm. have we have the budget for it this year so i mean it, it just depends on what you guys want to do um okay but you know it, there's no harm in pricing because if they're 150 bucks a piece mm -hmm. like just just order them all right I mean, we can focus our areas on things that actually need more work but if they're you know 400 bucks a piece then i'd say are you going to put a figure on it or just authorize us no. to purchase? I won't put a figure on it. Not until, not until, I mean, I wouldn't put a figure on it until we know. Um, Especially with inflation and stuff. Yeah, what, what it is, what it is, right? Yeah. Like well, how much you it costs. to price it and bring it back to you next month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fine. Yeah. I mean, they, and they sell them in like kits too and stuff like that. So, I mean, like if you really wanted to, you could buy, you know, 10 in a kit. It doesn't have to be pre-assembled, but that, that's a decision mm -hmm. that, that you can make on that side, whether okay. you want to kit it or have them fully assembled in here. Um, okay. And you have purchased a new lawnmower? We had to purchase a lawnmower so they could keep the grass cut. Okay. Uh, the old one was a hand-me-down from many years ago, and it's pretty much dead. Okay. <laughs> so how much was the new lawnmower? Uh, roughly four fifty, I think it was. Okay. Did we approve yeah. that last? Did we approve it? No, because no, that's why it's on here now. Okay, so it was emergency yeah. approval. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Um, ask for forgiveness. Yes. 
So well, we could have had a hayfield instead. <laughs> yeah. So so you Her know. Her name that, is Ruby. She's yeah. bright red. <laughs> it's, it's, works like a charm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. like a kitten. It's a it's a Honda. It's a Honda. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll say a motion to approve the uh, the new lawnmower that was purchased in an emergency. Motion to approve. Have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye fantastic. Thank you. Um, you know, this is one. That's one of the. That's what makes us a little bit more unique than every other committee mm -hmm. out there, right? Like we actually have things that we need to purchase, or else it's going to be mm. bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's not like we're. You, you know, guys we, have we, scissors, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, scissors. Nail clippers. Scissors and a four-wheel drive truck. Um, <laughs> do you have anything else, or is that no? It? That's just, just for me. Really one thing. Just continue. <laughs> Roger, if you could just let me let, let, talk about the cove. What's being done for opening? Oh yeah. Like what we have to do. To uh, get ready for Sunday. Oh, okay. We're going down there tomorrow. We're going to uh, put the A dock extensions on. Mm -hmm. I have to fix the lifeguard tower. Somebody broke off uh, one of the steps going up on it. Uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, we were down there. We cleaned out the lifeguard side, swept it all out, and dusted things off. Got it all pretty much ready to go. Um, the faucet down there, I'm going to change that over tomorrow because. The plumber last time he did the winterization cut two lines on it, mm. uh, so they cannot be connected again. Uh, so I had an extra old faucet. I'm going to put that down there, and that'll take care of that problem. Okay. And then we're going to wash down the sink, toilet, and stuff like that on that side, and they should be good to go. What about the? Um, you know how last year they had um, those poles that were sticking out of the docks. Yes. People were breaking the, or taking them out and throwing them in the water. Like, have we you replaced those? What? We have not replaced the plastic coverings on the fear that. They're just going to do it again. You know, we're just well, not this. Year. I mean, not this year. I mean, uh, we should think about. There was. It, they covered. There was the plastic. Yeah, covered. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So there was one. There was it's one issue, issue. There was one issue with one of the poles that somebody like moved it and cracked it off. Mm -hmm. um, it was one that's raised up higher. Too one that's raised. Yeah, I think that was yeah. because it was unscrewed. Are like, they just PVC? No. Just no, these are like custom. The, well, the, the covers are PVC. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the covers are like PVC. The metal that the, is there is strong. It's not going to go anywhere. I know. I'm just thinking of like little kids. That's all. And. Is there a danger? Or do they run into PVC or do they run into a metal pipe? You know, it's very similar. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we do it once. <laughs> that's, that's true. I mean, that's so, like, so uh, I, I, I understand. Look, I understand both the points. So I, I, I get what you're saying. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of a way to. Because I don't know if we can we buy those covers. Where would we even buy those covers if we wanted to get new ones? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I was like, where would you buy those white covers? I mean, we'd probably ask the people that provide the, we bought the dock from. Oh, that's a good I point. I would think. That's a good point. I can check at the lifeguard store. Oh, maybe. The lifeguard store. Yeah, maybe. I can check at yeah. that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, and if not. I mean, if they're cheap enough, we could just, you know, mm -hmm. buy them. Just, and it looks, they look better too. You know what I mean? Like it looks nicer. It's just like, rather than a metal color. Yeah. And some of them are there, some of them are. It just looks yeah. like. Can we screw them in place? No, they go, when you put them I know they go down. You could, you could drill them. Could you drill them in the back? Yeah, you could. Screw it on. Yeah, you, you could do that. You could do that. Yeah, but you have to have a pretty sizable drill to get into the metal pipe. Right. Depends on the metal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. If we can look into replacing them, I mean, if because if there's only one that's missing, right, we we'll just want to replace it and get it get it going again to make oh, it look nice. But yeah. Well, yeah. What, five, ten. Maybe five. Okay. Maybe five. I know there's one that um, when the bricks were down, the blocks were down there, the kids were like breaking them all up and stuff. Those white pipes where the kids were using the bricks. And smashing some of those, so there may be like one or two, but the actual top of the pipe is smashed. Okay. Okay. Like the pipe itself will still go on there, but like it will probably go all the way down. Right. Can we? Okay. So can we ask the lifeguard store? Mm -hmm. And if we don't, if the lifeguard store doesn't have them, can we see if we can find the people who made the dock mm -hmm. and then see if they have it? I'm, I can do a quick search tonight too to see if I can find out something because mm -hmm. they do they do look nice down there, right? So yeah. it's not like it's you know some metal pole sticking out. Um, my kids would be the one running into the metal pole and, yeah. and the white one too, <laughs> right. so it doesn't really matter to right. me, but, um, <laughs> right. you know, okay, okay, awesome. So, um, okay, I'll go back to old business real fast. So here's the budget. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna take this for a minute. So we have a month left and we have $100,000 left um, that is not used. So that's a swell budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's essentially a third, that's a third of our, our, our budget that Mm -hmm. We didn't use, which is really good. 
Okay. So, um, what's stuff. the recreation director salary here? What is that? That's just the heading that's always been there. Yeah, but what, we didn't have that. So, why is that money taken out of it, though? For so, if you look at the recreation director salary in line one, yeah, it says negative. Um, camp. Oh, that's camp. Um, one thousand fifty-one expended. I don't know what that is. Recreation director salary. I don't know because it's. It's weird. It's not even like in the budget. You yeah. know what I mean? But like, what is Yeah, that? can we check that? Yeah, I have no idea. I'll check that. But, yeah, so, it, and as you know, that balance will go into our retained earnings, yeah. and we can use it at the fall town meeting. Yeah, so, so um, yeah, it's good. Um, okay, so, um, I don't think there's anything else in the old business um, departmental report, Dory. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I the only thing I really have is we scheduled um, serve safe training mm -hmm. for us, and mm -hmm. the company is coming here Thursday, um, eight o'clock in the morning. And Roger, Jen, and Renee, and Frankie, and I are going to be trained in uh, uh, serve safe certified mm -hmm. certification. So it's a one day thing. We take the test, we get the certificate. So as of Friday, we'll have five people at the camp certified and serve safe. Is it per person you guys are paying for? Or is it just yeah. the whole class? It's per person and five participants, they will come to you if you have five participants. Oh, so that's okay. where we got the number five. Okay. But we are paying per person. Okay. How much is it per person? It's 169 per person. Okay. The whole thing is about $800. Okay. Um, which in a certification is two years. Okay. So. Is anybody interested in being Star State certified? No. For what? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's for food. It's just for food handling. So if you ever, if you ever did like something with food here, you'd have to be Star State certified. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On eight o'clock in the morning, the Thursday. Okay. Um, yeah, my real job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we need to approve that, right? Uh, yes, please. The surf safe. Okay, so I'll understand a motion to approve the surf safe certified training um, happening on Thursday. What is that, the 15th? The 15th. Yep. Um, yeah. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Fantastic. Great. Great. Anything else? That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Anything, Jen, for caretaker report uh, or anything I just like wanted that? I to say on uh, note of the Kansas Housing Authority donating the couch. It actually was my boyfriend. He is the maintenance mechanic in the Kansas Housing Authority. Oh, nice. He like, does all the apartments and stuff. He takes care of, kind of like what Roger does. Mm -hmm. He takes care of the grounds there and the buildings. And he was the one that found a couch in an apartment where the woman had been transferred to a nursing home. None of the other, ten other tenants of the buildings wanted it. That's why I mentioned it to them, and they went and checked it out again. Thank you. Awesome. And he says that um, you are welcome for the couch and that he will, in the future, keep an eye out for any other pieces of furniture, either on the couch or tables or chairs or, say, bureaus or something like that, yeah. that he thinks that the campground is Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, well, that'd be great. Yeah. Thank, thank you, boyfriend, for us because mm -hmm. that's helpful. Appreciate that. Um, set the next meeting date. Um, <clears throat> so, is anybody busy on July 10th? Um, I'm not here. You're not here? Let's just say. Is it a Monday? Yes. Oh, it's the day before I get back from my vacation. Oh. Did you plan that? <laughs> July what? 10th, right? Yeah, what about July 12th? Um, which, is, which is Wednesday. I don't care. July 10th is fine. It's fine. July 10th is fine? I have to work that day. Chill, you good? No. Um... July 10th. Yes, I am good. Okay. I will okay. So we'll do July 10th. Me as well. Me as well. Where are you going? Um, okay, so July 10th will be our next meeting date. Uh, we'll do it at 5.30 like usual. So, okay. Um, is that it, Dory? Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Thank you. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Anybody, uh, all those in favor? Aye. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>